My daughter Jennifer has refused to talk to me for seven years. She says I hung up on her and that's why she hasn't talked to me. What happened was we were on the phone and there was a disagreement for something, I don't know what, and I said, whatever, bye, and I hung up. Now my daughter won't talk to me. In the past seven years, I think I've reached out to her. I feel like I might have called and left some messages on her phone that weren't returned, but I can't say that for sure. I've seen Jennifer maybe three or four times. When I see Jennifer at family gatherings, it is awkward, and usually we don't speak. I feel intimidated by her. I feel resentment toward Jennifer. I think my granddaughter Kaylee's been influenced by what Jen said. And I don't know my grandson. He's seven years old, and this has been going on for seven years. I don't think I deserve this kind of treatment. I think Jennifer's being selfish and childish. Maybe she doesn't want me in her life anymore. Not having Jennifer in my life, I would feel sad and hurt and lonely. She's the only one of my three children that are within driving distance. And I have no other family here, so I'm all alone. It's not my place to go to Jennifer. She should come apologize to me. OK, um, now, I'm a parent. I have two children. You have three. And my first reaction is when I looked at it was as a as a parent, I can't imagine not speaking to either of my children for seven years, and I certainly can't imagine not speaking to them, one of them for seven years, and having no clue as to why. I, you have to help me understand that. How how do you, how can you not know? what the problem is. She hasn't given me a reason. The, the reason, she said, was because I hung up on her. You hang up on her, so OK, seven years, you are exiled for seven years because you hung up on her? Right. I think she just wanted to be angry, and that was the excuse that she had. So you're puzzled. Yes. You want this puzzle solved. I wanted to stop. Because, I, listen, there, there are lots of families out there. There are lots of parents with adult children who have issues, and, and they're watching this saying, OK, I got a pad out. I'm, I want to figure out what's he going to tell her, because I've got issues. I want to know, how do we close the gap here? How do we solve these issues? Um, so have you tried? Have you do I mean, you're the parent here. Parents never quit parenting. You never, you, I don't care how old your kids get. If you're 70 and they're 50, you're 80, they're 60, whatever, you always are the parent. But you think you are owed the apology. If, if not an apology, at least an explanation. She's I caused you pain. Why. Well, you said you want an apology because she's caused you pain. Right. She should apologize for the pain she's caused you. She's cut you off. You have a, a grandson that's... A, a mystery, right? I, I really don't even know him. He's seven years old, and, and wow. this has been going on for seven years. And you're just on the outside looking in? Yes. And with no clue? Yes, sir. 